phone was ringing. Somehow I knew the call was for me. The call was for me. It was something important. I needed to answer. from somewhere. You've just forgotten again. We're in it together. Don't worry. I got it now. We've been working. Great. I I'm losing you. Hello? Hello? had said Caldera Street Station. I had to go there. The Caldera Street Station sign was there, but the entrance was missing. I had to make it appear. Maybe I could use the lamp to reveal the station entrance. from the other side. It could not be opened on the side.
Is this the way it was on the page? What the hell? Oh, hey. We met at Door's show. Alan Wake, the writer. I'm Alex Casey, looking into a murder. Come on, what... What is this? There's a piece of evidence, a manuscript of a novel. You wouldn't know anything about it? A manuscript? What manuscript? I need to see it. Rumor had it the manuscript contained the details of the murders. A murder cult was following the story to commit their gruesome acts. Was Wake their leader? Had he written it? How far would he go to create a perfect work of art? Or would he be the next victim? gun felt like I was assuming the role of the detective. I had a light now. I needed to get back to the subway station entrance. Shit. With the alley in darkness now, restless shadows blocked my way. fight back. I could use the light to open the subway entrance now. I 
I needed to find another light to go deeper inside. I need her to find a way around that fence. It could not be opened on the side. locked from the other side. The gates to the platform were closed. I had a ticket. The 
Something about the station platform felt significant. It would work in my writing, but I needed more. Something lingered here. A half-forgotten memory. An echo. Come here. Something was here, a vision about to reveal itself. I needed to look at it from the right angle. Inviting me to draw an obscene picture on the city map. Caldera Street Station. The name made me think of the exit wound of a bullet. I had a flash of inspiration. The ghost of my fictional detective. A story thread I could use in my writing. I had a location. I had a story thread. The dark place reacted to my story. The way into the tunnels was no longer blocked. It could not be opened on this side. Fed had glimpsed into the maw of darkness. It swallowed him whole. The tracks led into the tunnel. That was my way forward. The trail continued deeper into darkness. Tunnels were a maze. The blood trail led me on. Another place to use in this story. I needed to search the tunnels for further visions. Inspiration for the story that would lead me deeper. I had a new idea, a new story thread. I changed the story, and with that, the dark place. 
Nothing's changed. It's bad luck to be on this case. The cult can get you anywhere with that black magic shit. Let the day shift handle it. What happened, anyway? Some fed came looking for the cult, but it was a trap. A satanic blood sacrifice. Anyone who gets involved with the cult, they're next. I heard their leader is this famous writer, Alan Wake. Their unholy motherfucking messiah. Sounds like a load of bull. of inspiration. Word is your research. Word is your research can help me, ma'am. What do you know? There's more than one urban legend about the cult of the word. The murder cult used these tunnels for their ritual sacrifices. They say the cult reenacted the murders in Alan Wake's crime books. That Wake was even involved somehow under a false identity. Mr. Scratch. Which is, of course, a nickname for the devil himself. It was disturbing finding myself in the story this way. But I was desperate, and it felt right for the story. I can't win it all. was gone. The way forward was open. Someone was humming. Was it worth the risk to go see who? The train blocked my way forward, but it was here for a reason. 
It had a role to play. The plot element I found would drive the story forward. The scene and plot made sense together. Torchbearers living in the tunnels. They lock the poor folks up in a derailed subway car, douse it in gasoline. Yeah. Charming. It turns into a bit of a ghost story after that. They say the dark smoke from the fire still roams the tunnels searching for new victims to devour. There are no happy endings in this city. The story thread felt important. I could use it in one of the scenes I'd found. be opened on the side. I had a new beat for the story. could get through it.
My path was blocked. I had to find a way through. The lights would help me. The echoing hall had a story to tell. I had a new scene to use, a new setting. something here that made him run scared. Whether the summoning ritual had been a bona fide supernatural event or the mass psychosis of stark raving lunatics, it didn't change the facts. The cult was messing with things no one should mess with. The ritual was a vital part of the story, the key to reaching the murder site. The cultists were close now. A dark presence rising from the depths. story beat fit the story perfectly.
tunnels. Hidden graffiti signs marked secret routes. I kept hearing whispers around burn barrels of an underground society of mystic outsiders with hidden knowledge. <laughs> Typical New York. Over and over, the words resonated with meeting. Had I written this?
weren't the only ones using the tunnels. Hidden graffiti signs marked secret routes. I kept hearing whispers of the burn What element I found would drive the story forward. Was open now. I could get through. The dark presence. I'd seen it before. I remembered now. It was always out there, hunting me.
something closest to home. An FBI agent? Who are you? What is this? Who are you? She can hear me. I'm Saga Anderson, FBI. This is Alan Wake. I'm trapped here. The dark place. Under Cauldron Lake. Mount Cauldron Lake. Where are you? I'm trying to escape. I'm making progress, but I'm in danger. The dark presence. Help me. Please, help me. I could sense it. I was closer to home. Had the woman in the vision helped me somehow? Something had changed outside Parliament Tower, where I had lived with Alice. It was out there, waiting for me. Stepping, stepping to the murder site, I'd felt it hanging in the air. A meaning, the violent emotion of the act. Like a cloud of wrath, the dead eyes of the victim staring at something you couldn't see, and yet making you aware of it. Something had soaked into this place on a molecular level, overlapping with your meaningless existence. Regression to something you had managed to forget. Marking you. Taking you for a ride. Making you crazier. The station had changed. I was closer now. This just an echo of the real thing. Even then, the murder site had brought me one step closer to escape. Time loses meaning here. How long have I been trying to escape? Long enough for Alice to think I'm dead. monster behind it all. Either way, Alice Wake, his ex, she knew things. It was there in her art for all to see. A cry for help. The darkness she'd witnessed. And that put her in danger. Was Alice here? In the story? felt her presence. It gave me strength to go on.
photo equipment. Set to go off when the door opens. years ago, I started hearing noises in the night, typewriter keys clacking, voices. Alan was back, haunting me. This scratch was terrorizing her. Why? writing it. 